Welcome to the Today in History channel. In today's video we will talk about the day, June 25, 1950. The Korean War begins. The Korean Peninsula, which had belonged to Japan until the end of World War II, was divided and occupied by the Soviet Union and the United States in 1945, taking the 38 degrees parallel as its dividing line. As a consequence of the Cold War, the territory was divided into two states, North Korea, where, in 1948, a communist popular republic led by Kim Il-sung was established, and South Korea, where Syngman re-implemented an unyielding pro-American dictatorship. The triumph of the communist revolution in China in October 1949 disturbed Asia's geostrategic balance. Stalin, who had suffered severe setbacks in Europe the failure of the Berlin blockade, and Yugoslavia's escape from his control decided to regain ground in Asia and encouraged a North Korean attack on South Korea. On June 25, 1950, Kim Il-sung's troops crossed the 38 degrees parallel and advanced south. The South Korean regime was only able to preserve a small territory around Pusan. The American reaction was immediate. Washington called for the UN Security Council to be convened and obtained a mandate to put itself at the head of an army that opposed North Korean aggression. The absence of the Soviet delegate, who had refused to attend council meetings in protest at the U.S. refusal to accept the admission of People's China, favored this resolution. Multinational UN troops in practice, the American army under General MacArthur quickly recovered the lost ground and on October 19 seized Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. Three days earlier, Chinese troops with Soviet military support had penetrated Korea and forced the American army to retreat. On January 4, 1951, Communist troops returned to occupy Seoul. MacArthur presented the option of atomic bombing in northern China, but President Truman and the majority of Congress alarmedly refused an action that could lead to nuclear conflict with the Soviet Union. In an increasingly open confrontation, Truman dismissed MacArthur, amid protests, by the Republican right, and replaced him with General Ridgway. The Soviet Union, for its part, made public its intention not to intervene in the dispute and expressed its desire for two different systems to coexist on the peninsula. Then negotiations began, which ended in July 1953, with the signing of the armistice in Panmunjom, where a new line of demarcation was established that meanders around the 38 degrees parallel. The survival of the North Korean communist regime meant that the Cold War frontier it was the only one that persisted until the 21st century. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article. Give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Hugs. Until the next.